everybody and welcome back to Out of Body, 31 Days of Halloween. Today's Haunted Memphis episode, you guys, is really creepy. This is the legend of Pigman. Now though Memphis is a bigger city, there are actually a lot of nice parks around here and one in particular in the Memphis area is huge. It is the Shelby Forest State Park and it's actually over 13,000 acres. It has a lot of trails and lakes and even some endangered species of animals. And it also has a legend, the legend of Pigman. And there are many variations to this story and I'm gonna go into that later. But another name for this area where the legend takes place is the smokestacks. Now the smokestacks are actually left over from an old powder and explosives production plant that was used during World War II. It was originally called the Memphis Ordnance Plant and then later called the Chickasaw Ordnance Plant. So the plant actually had miles and miles of underground tunnels and these tunnels were used to transport gun cotton which one of the main ingredients in gun cotton is TNT. And at the time that this plant was in business, it actually had 8,000 employees. Now all that's left of the plant today is the smokestacks and the legend that goes with it. Now the plant was actually deemed too dangerous for civilian use after the war, so it was dismantled in 1946. Now getting back to the Pigman legend, the story goes that one of the workers of the plant decided to smoke a cigarette after disposing of some chemicals and apparently he still had some of the chemical residue on his hand. So when he lit the match close to his face, there was a small explosion which caused him to get some really bad burns on his face. Now, just so you can kind of picture why they called him the pig man, Apparently his nose was blown off, his scalp was burned, his ears were halfway blown off, and his face was heavily scarred. So legend has it after the accident, the man was shunned by his coworkers and pretty much shunned by society at that point. And even his family, even his wife would not let him come home for fear that he would scare the children because of the way he looked. So then locals started to refer to him as Pig Man because of his nose being partially blown off. So as they say, after the accident, he actually did continue to work at the factory for a while, but he would live under a nearby bridge. Supposedly, he would eat children. And after that, he would hide what's left of the bodies in the tunnels. So as the legend goes, there is this pig man who roams Shelby Forest looking for his next victim. So now that I've kind of gone over the legend, I'm gonna go into some of the variations of it and the different stories. One of the stories says that the person who haunts the tunnels specifically was a homeless man who lived there and passed away. And then other people say that this is actually the pig man that haunts the tunnels. So another version of the story says that this man was a deranged recluse kind of person who would put actual pig heads on pikes around his property to scare away visitors. And those who weren't scared away would get killed and have their own heads put on pikes. Another version of the story says that he was a circus animal trainer and that he was mauled when his pigs turned on him. Now, as far as the sightings of the pig man, there is actually a pig man bridge in Millington, which is really close to Memphis. And apparently he has been seen near that pig man bridge, but he has also been spotted in the state park, though he usually disappears when approached. So if you're looking to spook yourself and go find this pig man, this is what you need to do. As they say, in order to find him, you need to look for the smokestacks near the Chickasaw Ordnance Works and wait for the full moon, park your car in the middle of the bridge at midnight, turn your lights on and your engine off and roll down the windows. Flash your headlights three times while saying pig man each time and then wait. He will find you. So that is all for this story. Were you guys creeped out by that? I thought that this was one of the creepier legends that I found about Memphis. And stay tuned for more super spooky videos this week. Now I do want to mention again that I'm also going to be doing a video on Elvis, ghost sightings of Elvis and Graceland. It's going to be a long video. Uh, I'm actually going to do it on Halloween night. 
So stay tuned for that. I may actually do it as a premiere. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. I know a lot of people have been asking about if I'm going to do Graceland and I wanted to save it for last. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day or night or whatever time it is when you see this video. And I will see you in the next one tomorrow for 31 Days of Halloween. Bye.